For this problem of the week, I'll be doing number two, which says solve using our algebra method. And we're given two systems here that we need to solve for. So um, this algebra method is um, found in 9.1. Um, the teacher goes over it. And going off that section, we are told to determine first uh, whether this is um, homogeneous or non-homogeneous. And we're going to find out by looking at our b's. And our b's are equal to something. They're not equal to zero. So that means we're going to be solving for uh, a non-homogeneous. And this means we have to put um, our b's to, to one side and everything else to the other side. So we're going to get something like this. We're just separating the x's and the b's. And next, we're going to multiply, um, well, not multiply, um, rewrite this as d minus 1 times x1, uh, which is equivalent to this. Because if we distribute it, it's going to be x1 prime minus x1, which is the same thing right here. Same thing for um, this, this x2 prime plus x2. And next, we're going to multiply by d plus 1, everything on top, in order to cancel this. So we're having, we're, uh, right here, once we've uh, distributed everything, this d plus 1, d minus 1, and taken the integral of e to the 2t, which will look something like this, we can see that negative d plus 1 x2 is going to cancel out with d plus 1 x2. So those terms go away, and this is what we have left with. And let's not forget to add this. We get 7e to the 2t. Okay, now we're going to be solving for the homogeneous case, the homo, the, yeah, homogeneous, and then particular. So here we have d squared minus 4x1 is equal to 7e to the 2t plus e to the 2t, right? We set this side to 0 to solve for the homogeneous, and uh, pretty simple. We get r is equal to plus or minus 2. Write that as your complementary solution for x1. And now we have our particular solution where we leave, leave this part on. And now we have to find uh, something that annihilates these. So it's going to be d minus 2. So quick example, we're going to distribute this derivative of 7e to the 2t is going to be 14e to the 2t minus 2 times 7e to the 2t, which is 14e to the 2t, and those will cancel out. Same thing with e to the 2t. And we're left with d minus 2 x1 is equal to 0, because we already have solutions for d squared minus 4. Uh, we get r is equal to 2. So our particular solution will look something like this. Okay. Now we want to take uh, the derivative of our particular solution um, twice because we're going to be plugging it into here. And when we take the derivative, um, x, x1 goes over here. So you're going to have negative 4, and then whatever x1 is, this, and then x double prime goes into here, and this is what we're going to get. It's right here. And as you can see, uh, we have some cancellations. Um, we're left with this. Take out e to the 2t, we get a naught times 4 is equal to 8, um, then we get a naught is equal to 2, plug this back into our x1 particular solution, and we get 
2t e to the 2t. Now, we combine this with our other solution to get our general solution, right? Now, this is for x1. Now we need to solve for x2. Um, fortunately, if we go back to the very beginning, we were given this system, and we already know what x1 is. It's right here. And um, x1 prime, we could find that out by taking the derivative, right? And then x2 is what we don't know, so we want to solve for this. We put it on the other side, um, so we have this is all equal to x2. Now we just plug everything in, x1 goes in here, and then x1 prime, which is what the derivative will look like, uh, is plugged in here, minus e to the t, and you'll see that uh, these e's will cancel out, and then we'll have some cancellations in here and in here, because this negative, because this x1 is mul being multiplied by a negative, right? And then it turns into a nice solution here, c1 e to the 2t minus 3 c2 e to the negative 2t. And these two are going to be your general solution.